Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. If you've been following along, you'll notice that I've filled this model with a little bit more geometry as far as windows and doors go. And what I'd like to take a look at today are some of the roof tools that are available to you in Revit. Uh, so one of the first and easiest ways to create a roof in Revit is with a roof by footprint. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this top floor of this house and create the hip roof that's involved with that. Um, so to do that, I'm just going to come down here to the second floor. And what I want to do is find out where my roof is going to start. So fortunately, I have this CAD drawing open here. And I have some lines projected across from my section. So if I do a quick distance command, I'm able to come up here and find what that offset should be. So by doing that distance command, I see that it's 6 foot 3. And so when I come up to Architecture tab and choose the roof by footprint from the roof tools, I have a base offset level of uh, 6 foot 3 already set up here. I also have set up a 5 inch overhang and my defined slopes toggle is enabled. So this means that whatever I use, um, it's going to create a sloped line with an overhang of 5 inches from the wall. So I'm going to choose my pick walls feature and I'm just going to grab these three walls at the back and the two front walls here at the front. So notice, bear in mind that I'm not doing all of this front thing at once. The reason being is because I have a wall here that comes up and it's a modified profile. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to bring that off that the two inches that is required and to do that I'll just type in two inches and then I'm going to come over here to this one to this end and close that off. Now all of these lines are at a slope of 912 and they're all defining a slope so if I select all of them at once I can come over here into my properties panel and change that to 7. When I do that I'm going to click on apply and now if I select each one of these, I should see 7, 12 pitch. Now the other thing is that if I select the green check mark right now to create this roof, and we go inspect it in a 3D view, you're going to notice that it goes and intersects through some of this geometry, like the window and my wall. I'm okay with that because I'm going to be putting in some dormers for these windows. But what I'd like to address is this little notch right here. This guy isn't really, it's not really helping. So what I want to do is come over here to the south elevation and just investigate this a little bit further. So if I take a look at this, I can see that there's a difference in height between where this sill plate starts. So if I come up to the modify tab and I choose this measure tool or the dimension, either one, I can see what that difference is. So it's telling me that there's a three inch difference between where this one occurs and where this one occurs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into my roof and select that. I'm going to hit edit footprint and it says which view would you like to do this in. I'm just going to use the 3D view because it's handy. I can toggle around with the view cube. That's kind of nice. So doing that I'm just going to select each and every line and then by holding down control I'm going to take these three line segments out. Sorry, not holding control, I'm holding shift to eliminate those from the selection. So now I have all the lines except for that small projection in the front and what I'm going to do is change the offset from the base by three inches. So when I click on the three inches I hit apply and now if I hit my green check mark, I should get a little bit different roof and the line work should be correct. So as you can see, I'm getting correct line work. And if we come back down to our south elevation, that eave is lined up all the way across, just the way I wanted it to. Okay, so there are some really neat features. Let's take a, a look at this at the back. I want to show you something that's pretty incredible. This is a really nice drafting tool. I'm not going to do it at the front because I have to put those dormers in. But this wall here 
this wall along the back and this other wall. Let me just grab that one. Those can all be attached to this roof quite easily by using this attached top base feature. So I'm not grabbing the battens, I'm just grabbing the walls underneath them. So again, I'm hitting control to add to my selection. And let me just go grab this other wall. Okay, we'll control down. So now I have all these three walls. Now you'll notice where this wall comes through the top of my roof. I don't want it to do that. I want it to terminate at that roof. So I'm going to click on attach top base and then now select my roof and my walls with my battens all connect down to that roof. So that's pretty nice. And just to give you a good idea as to what happens there, I'm gonna come back to my second floor plan. And let's just take a quick look at that in section. So we can see now that I have this wall here and it goes in, it ties into this roof quite nicely. And then you can see at the front, this wall hasn't been modified yet but if I do that again here, I can select that wall, say attach top base, and it's saying that the highlighted walls overlap. Um, that's because it's cut through this, this front one. So um, let's go back to that 3D view. Again, you, we're gonna need to um, <laughs> reinvestigate this. I just murdered that, that wall. So just by clicking on Control Z, I removed that attached top base and what I want to do is just select this wall here instead and the roof and then you see that disappear. I still have to modify this roof to suit my dormers, but that's okay. I'm going to be taking care of that shortly. So just hitting that attached top base feature, that's really, really nice. And let's take a look at one more thing before we get out of uh, roof by extrusion. I'm going to come back into this and say maybe I want this to be a gable in the front. So I'll select the roof and go back to edit footprint. And let's just take a quick look at this. If I select this front line and I uncheck define slopes and then ask for that again, now I've got this little gable here. So that's pretty handy. And if I want to close that off, now I'll select this line, use attach top base, and it's, all right, it's doing that again. Okay, so there are anomalies, right? I guess uh, we can't do that. But how would we fix this one? Let's grab this and we'll modify that profile. See, it's good if you stick around to see some of my mistakes and how I go about um, improving them. So if I go to this wall here and we take a little bit of a better look at that. I had it pinned so I wasn't able to edit the profile but now that it's no longer pinned I can come in here and say edit profile and now I'm simply going to remove this line, use my pick lines feature, grab these two ones right here at the top and then I'm just going to trim those and then when I hit that green check mark it fills that that in okay so I don't really actually want that gable but what I wanted you to see was a couple different ways to attach your walls to your roofs uh, whether you're using the actual attached top base or whether you're using the edit profile they both work and they both work very easily so that's some simple stuff for roof by footprint uh, if you're interested in roofs come back the next video we're going to take a look at how you create a roof by extrusion thanks for watching bye now